All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It is April 10th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Snake Draft Monday. We are joined on Zoom by Stephen Che and only Stephen Che. Stephen, welcome back. I feel like it's been a while. It's been a bit. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm doing, I'm actually, I'm not doing great. I just got back from the Masters. I was there for like 20 hours total. Oh, yeah. And I'm, How are you back already? I, I only went for the practice round on Wednesday. So we're recording this on a Friday. But I, I just, I feel miserable. You sound miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you sound you want, congested. I'm very congested. I did that taste test on the dozen. I'm probably going to make a video about it. And uh, I'm getting killed because I there was it was a blind taste test. And there was, it was Coke or Pepsi. And I said it was Cherry 7-Up. You have COVID. <laughs> you have COVID. I don't know. I don't You think, have COVID. No, there's please, no way. Please, please push away. I think the I think you don't lose your taste or smell with COVID anymore, though. Oh, with really? This current the new strand or whatever. I had no flu-like symptoms besides congestion. Yeah, I I was within earshot of where they're filming, and I could hear Eddie over Zoom. And I do recall, but I believe it was before they started. You said that you couldn't taste anything, right? No, no, but I but I was getting other things, so there were certain things I could taste. Also, I that's throw- like a wild. Yeah, miss, it, though. Well, I, that's a huge miss. Yeah, but I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but I had it was all warm, and it was all in a very small cup, so it was like enough for like a couple baby sips. You had to be like a soda salmon. I mean, Frank yeah. the Tank would have nailed it. I, I think he was in it. I think he got one wrong. I think he might have mixed up Pepsi and Coke. I, oh, maybe. really? I, I oh, oh, as yeah. a Pepsi guy, you can't do that. I, I haven't drinking Pepsi or Coke just plain without alcohol in either in like a decade. And I, I, think I, I feel like I have right one a year. Now. Congrats to you. What did you say? I think I could do that. Right you think now. so? I don't yes. think you can. Well, I, I was going to I was, I was gonna say, I want, when, once I get through this, I want to do a redo with cold beverages. Well, why don't we just and make line that? up 10, and I think I could shoot 80%. Why don't we just make that the next White Sox safe challenge? Sure. We'll just but pull, I, pull I need personal point. redemption. Yeah, like, no, that's what for I'm sure. Like, that's yeah. what I don't like. But I feel like we should do Coke, Pepsi, RC and see how you guys do. Okay. Well, he said he doesn't drink it, so it's not really. He just said he could do it. I think I could. Like I, I, I can taste the Coke in my mouth right now, without ever consuming it hardly. Let's try it out. Let's try it we out. Can do that. Uh, actually, kind of a little good pre-show banter because we are doing brand uh, slash company mascots today. Um, a topic that's been widely talked about. I know those fictional debates. Those guys were going deep on this shit, which was an awesome series and very beloved. So. Um, much respect to those guys. That was the uh, all-time wild, weird brain crew. Were you on that too, Che? No, no. I'm on kind of the spinoff in the bracket. Yes, exactly. Um, but, yeah, today is company mascots. Also, you're probably noticing back to be, back-to-back to weeks. We're going with four, four people. Uh, we're going to try it out for a little bit, see how it goes. Yeah, move, see how the move it along show. a little bit. Yeah, see how yeah. the flow of the show goes and whatnot. Either so. for the polls. What would you say? Easier for the polls, the Twitter polls. It is easier, but then people do like the drama of who's not going to make it on yeah. the poll, and then it's it's a whole big thing. Um, I mean, we can still do that, just put three people on the poll if we wanted. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, today's the the company mascot draft. We could start doing uh, order. Why not? Um, oh, I won last one. Excuse before we, I, I won the bachelor party. So congratulations! Shout out to me, my second gold. Yeah, I think that puts me in the lead for. Uh, I got the silver the crew. You got four silvers now, I think. Yeah, four yeah, silvers think, and a gold. I think Davis two golds and a silver. I have two golds and like three or four silvers. So. Oh, we'll have to we'll have to tabulate it, but I feel <laughs> like we're neck and neck now. <laughs> um, all right, Stephen Shea. Uh, Harry has a number one through four behind his back. What number is it? Three. No. Chief. Two. No. Dave. Four. Yes. Mm. It's weird since there's no middle one with the even numbers. Uh, I'll go, I'll go two. I don't know why, but I feel like this is so stupid. But I feel like draft order doesn't matter what there's when there's four people. Why? I, I just feel like it's like you get that wraparound so quick. Some, right. When you're when you go first, it's like I might not pick again for a half an hour. You start getting in your head a little. Bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, one through three to me, Harry. I'm gonna say three. No. Che. Dose. No. One. Yes. I'll go third. Pussy. <laughs> uh, one or two to me. One. No. Che. Two. Yes. 
Or you want one or four? I want the number one pick. Wow. Oh, Chase, Chase got a big dog. The Chaniacs are going wild. Um, all right, so the order is Che, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Eddie. Before we get things underway, I do want to talk about game time. Uh, listen, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports concerts and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Um, we have all taken advantage of it so far for yeah Cubs and White Sox. Uh, I did Shea, it again. I'm going on Saturday. Use Game Time. There you go, Stephen Shea. I know you've probably taken well advantage of this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. New York Knicks games. Um, where did I go to somewhat recently? I know like the whole crew went to the Final Four with Game Time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep, I know. Luke Combs is coming here in May. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, so make sure you use Game Time because you could uh, get the biggest last-minute price drops that could be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. The purchase process takes two taps in 10 seconds, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone, no printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text, so you can get it in the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. All right. Company mascots draft. Che, lead us off. So I've got a, I made a full list. Uh, I uh, ran this by people. I did internet searches. I, I, I came prepared and I ranked them all. And when I was putting together my ideal draft board, it all started and ended with Mickey Mouse. I mean, he is number one associated with the brand. I'm not saying that just as a dad and my kids watch Disney Plus and all that stuff, but Mickey Mouse is the most iconic and synonymous figure with a brand I think that there is. Like when I think about brand mascots, the number one thing I think of is the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade always has Mickey Mouse and his cast of characters. He is the lead. He is the lead dog. Mickey Mouse is my pick. I hate this pick. I think Mickey Mouse stinks. I hate his voice. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like the voice stinks. I find him very annoying. He's a big brand, but he hasn't done anything since like Steamboat Willie in 1930. So like I, I'm I'm kind of Fantasia. Like what are we talking about? So I'm not a Mickey Mouse guy. When I Disney think brand Disney Plus. Yeah, ESPN? but I, I, if I could switch it to Buzz Lightyear, I would because I, I feel like there's so – like the, Disney has a whole cast of characters, and it's like – it's kind of like how uh, the NBA logo is still Jerry West, even though it's like it's been Jordan, <laughs> it's been LeBron. Like that's Mickey Mouse. But you're Mouse getting all of that because it's all under Mickey. It's like it's like Dave, basically. We are all un, we're all under Dave. You're saying Dave is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Dave's Mickey if Mouse. Clip that, Disney, please. He Clip is that. Mickey Mouse for sure. <laughs> he, would, he would take that as a compliment. He wears. Well, he is a Disney time, guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like this. This is the kind of debates I want to have on this show. Yeah. So counterpoint to that. Mm -hmm. uh, I love when people refer to anyone who works under the Disney umbrella as just oh he's 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 controlled by the mouse. You know, <laughs> like there's yeah. something there's something kind of that always makes me laugh. Like like this fucking stupid cartoon and yeah. all that pull, but it's just a funny way to. Uh, Here, to here's say my it. my other con about Mickey Mouse. If I were to like close my eyes and like think of Disney, he's not the first image that comes to my head. It's like the castle. It's the, yeah, the script written Disney. Like and he's really his own yeah brand too. really yeah. So I I. Mickey Mouse, not on my big board at all. I, I, that's I a good point. That's, yeah. a good point. that's a good point. I think uh, if we're, we're, listen, motherfucker moves merch. <laughs> like, well, he does. Yeah. He does. <laughs> he moves merch. He's got his ears on people's head, like I yeah. just said. Like, that's there, power. There is nobody else on this list as far as brand mascots that have more power and authority over their company than Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and I've said and that too. The biggest argument is you get the whole package. You get I, all of Disney and Mickey Mouse. I've said that too, where I, it's one of the most puzzling things that Disney doesn't do anything with those legacy, like those legacy characters. Mm -hmm. Like besides like a Goofy movie that came out what two decades ago? Yeah, twenty. 20 what years bomb ago. What, soundtrack? Like, why is there no Donald awesome. Duck movie? Why is there? Uh, two? Is there? I it mean, might there, be, but it's a not long like, time ago yeah. in the nineties. Yeah, they yeah. had the uh, what was the one where he goes to Egypt? That was a good one. Yeah, but those uh, I feel like those were like extended Saturday morning cartoons, like more than they have like they have like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse now, which is like kind of like virtual. I'm yeah. not a big fan of it, but it exists and it's like a fairly recent thing. 
Hot dog, hot dog, hot, hot tickety dog, right? That's it. The name of the movie or the No, the that's a song. You got yeah. kids. You should know that. Well, this is I, what I, I mean. I even knew that. Yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. dog. Yeah, yeah, see? Um, all right, Mickey Mouse. It's like the commercial. Um, this, I don't Wait, think, I you? just don't think of him as a mascot, even though I know he's a mascot. I don't, I don't know why. But at the same time, like, he's the face of one of the biggest companies ever. So you can't really argue it. But I, I don't know. This is a weird one to me. I was thinking, I, I think it's weird to me because he's his own brand and he's like a, like, it's it's obviously you put Disney and Mickey Mouse together, but I don't know. I just don't think of him as mascot. I don't know. I don't even. I mean, know he definitely it. is, but the it's, definition of a mascot. Yeah, he's their official mascot. Through the year, they're going to replace him this year due to oh, legal concerns. Fuck. I don't know what that means. Who said that? Um, are you? Are you is, that, is that the Onion? Google. <laughs> yeah. Pardon? Did Mickey Mouse will remain I mean, Disney's official mascot, contrary to oh will oh okay so there was like a rumor. Well, and Walt Reuters Disney had, uh, he's got a lot of baggage, a lot of Great baggage, a lot of bad history there. Thank good clarification, <laughs> yeah. Dave. You really got killed. Went through his text history. Yeah, the, yeah. Disney, <laughs> yeah, the Disney people would have been bullshit on mm-hmm. him. Uh, and, and I also, like I said, I know there's Donald Duck movie. I was looking at that Treasures of the Lost Lamp. That came out in mm-hmm. 1990. But I've also heard it's because they're so protective. Like, if they make a bomb, they know it'll, like, kill their... Oh, yeah. Like, kill those... Right. Forever, Those, those yeah. old dogs, Pluto yeah. and shit, so... But still, I'll take a chance. Make a Mickey movie. That's, that's all I'll ask. It's my only con. Uh, White Sox, Dave. So, I might just sink my own draft right here. I don't really <laughs> care, but, like, when I think... <laughs> I want... I, I'm thinking like for caring, more in com- no, it's it's more because it, I'm not gonna I could go with the completely chalk picks that we all know I'm thinking about, but when I see a company mascot, I'm drafting my favorite company mascot, and the one that consistently makes me laugh the hardest is the Jack Link's Bigfoot. Those commercials are so <laughs> fucking funny. I like that one. It's those yeah. commercials are fucking hilarious. They're laugh out loud funny. Every and they've been going on for years now. They're so fucking funny every time. I. So I like I know I could have picked the ones that have been around for a hundred plus years, like Mickey Mouse. That's not the way I'm going with this. No, nope. Jack Links is a good one. It is new. I think you could have got it later. It's probably uh, much later. Yeah, but I do think it's it is. A, I think it's a good mascot. Though. It's hilarious. Yeah, I, I like those ads. I look at. Yeah, I'm a simpleton. I like that's those all ads. That, that's like that's the direction I'm taking this. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Why Why did you laugh? I just think the chief described it very well. He, he's yeah, a simpleton. It, it makes him laugh and it does but i would say, i would argue that when you see if you were to see the jack links bigfoot in the wild your first thought wouldn't be no you'd think big jack links it would be that you just saw bigfoot yeah well, I, I, I understand guess. i understand i get it i like i think you can take this draft two different ways one your favorite well it's and the like best, i don't Dave. give a flying it's the best we're, we're drafting the best like who's gonna look at this and be like damn that was they had the like, best okay, five but mascots. Like, I don't I, give a shit about Mickey Mouse. I know it's the most uh, obviously the most iconic, the most notable, sure. the most recognizable. Mm-hmm. I understand all that. Like, that's it's which path do you, which road do you, which sure, fork in the road? Good. That's how I I'm going. Who's at the office right now, Chase? Should we drag someone in for a fifth person so we could just vote off Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry okay. I like the big foot. No, listen, it's listen, fucking we're, hilarious. We're one pick in that he's going to the bullpen. Well, listen, I should be uh, – listen, I should say great partner. I loved what they did in that uh, – not us. What's uh, the – that the uh, demolition the house. NCAA tournament. Yeah. Yes, they had a great oh, that was awesome. Yeah. That was great sweet. Great part. Yeah. I like the Sasquatch. It's good. But yes. it's just like take that in the fifth round, Dave. What are we doing here? <laughs> I, I don't know that he could. Like that's I, – I hope Dave gets that. Uh, was this on your board? It wasn't, but I but I like I don't like the pick here, but I like the pick, and I hope Same. that you push him back so much. Dave's gonna be walking in to restore eating Jack Links <laughs> as a paid ad. Like that's <laughs> like we'll just synergize everything for him. I okay. like that. Okay. Uh, all right, Bigfoot from uh, Jack Links. Is that his name? That, are we confirmed? Sasquatch. I mean, everybody knows I, something. I think it's like feed your wild side or something, right? Like I know if he gets a name, we're giving you his name. Yeah, that's fine. Just, you know. What but, is, like, that's my favorite mascot. Okay. It was found. That was the first thing that popped in my head. That's what I'm That's what I'm running with. Uh, but, like, when I heard Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse wasn't on my board. I, I like, 
we're going favorite mascots. That was the path I took, like mm-hmm. I said. But obviously there are the very chalk yeah, picks. I don't think I that's think very it's, fun. Yeah, but I think it's a mix of like getting some heavy hitters. Uh, some, I, got like, I have a personal one that I really like, but I'm, I'm going to wait on them because I know no one else is going to take them. Yeah, I, I got I, one, I got one coming up too. that I, I got think those. is more down the other road Okay, that I don't think you guys will pick prior to. All right, Chief. All right. I'm, I'll just go with the Kool-Aid man. I like the Kool-Aid man. I feel funny. like he, he, he's funny. It's an iconic brand. I feel like the internet has... Uh, kind of revived him like he's a great meme. He plays in 2020 20, or 2023 as a uh, as a meme. Uh, love the Andy Reid version when mm-hmm. he comes storming in as like the Kool Aid Man. It's a, you can like make fun of people. It's a great joke, and it is like you see that even if you've never had Kool Aid in your life, you know what it is, and it's uh, just that jolly red glass jug, the Kool Aid Man. So I'll take uh, I'll take the Kool Aid Man. Yeah, this is my pick. So. Okay. Congrats to you. Thank you. Uh, I would have loved to have the Kool-Aid man on my board. Apparently, I don't know if you guys saw this, but it's a trend now to Kool-Aid man people. Uh, none of you have seen this. I don't Joey think so. Langone, social guy Joey Langone got Kool-Aid man. I guess a big thing on Long Island. It's, listen, the structure of property is not good. It's not cool. It's not funny. But naming it the Kool-Aid man trend, there is something funny to the name. Ooh, I agree. Can you explain it? Yeah. Uh, Through a door? Like essentially like kids are just busting through walls oh what the fuck that's yes. property damage i know I don't like that i know i know but the fact that it's called the kool-aid man yeah. challenge yeah. is kind of funny yeah like they like you know they're like going through like plastic fences and you'll just see like a kid just burst through it okay and like and go, just, oh yeah and they're just, yeah, they're just, yeah i kind of like it but if someone like came through like my drywall i would be you well, dish it up. Furious, yeah. yeah, it's not good. Yeah. I'm not saying it's good. Don't yeah. yeah, do it. Stick to your own place. But it's got a damage. hell of a name. Yeah, it does. It's His uh, cameos name. on Family Guy. I don't know if any of you guys are Family Guy yeah. guys. Yeah, no, I, I remember that. Hilarious. Yeah, and they're and they're just so random. But yeah, Kool Aid Man's iconic. Great pick, it's Jay. Kool Aid Man guy. Um, I I certainly like the the brand mascot. As far as the the product, I'm not not as big of a fan. But, I agree. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we're not seven probably, years old yeah. anymore. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's to me. I'm pissed because Kool Aid Man was an easy one one for me. Now I'm like in the I'm in the spot where it's like I'm gonna take one of these on one of these picks, but I don't know if I want to do the candy ass one early, even though it's a strong one. Fuck it, I will because it's it's in the name of Chase, um, but it's just such a strong character identity i'm gonna go with the coca-cola polar bears well that's a good one um there's something about seeing those fuckers when they were on the can and it just make the make made it taste a little bit better yep and, but is that uh, their mascot or is that just them like throwing polar uh, bears on during the christmas uh, season i mean i would say it's a seasonal mascot okay so yeah. yeah that's a good way to put it yeah but i mean they also have the big guy that is true. Like yeah, they're they they're they're, the, guy, they're yeah. the number two yeah. seasonal mascot. Yeah. So yeah, for Coca Cola. So uh, I love the polar bears. I love those ads. They're fucking adorable. But I mean, they are adorable, even though like, aren't polar if bears I, like the meanest bears. Yeah, they're the only animal on earth that will like stalk and hunt humans and eat them. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of dangerous to like put that idea out there too. It's not yeah. not good for the public. But like, I, if you gave me the choice between Santa Coca Cola. Or the polar bear Coca Cola? I'm taking Santa. I think that's a mistake. No. Yes, dude. I love Santa. <laughs> Who doesn't like Santa? Polar bear commercials are so cute. They are, but like, yeah, dude, Santa is False Christmas. A lot of people don't celebrate Santa, Chief. And, I, and, I do. And so I do. do I, but Steven, I'm looking out for the other people. I'm fucking. And to Stephen Shay's earlier point, if you yeah. if you just take the red can and and take the polar bears off of them. And you look at them, I don't think you're really identifying them with Coke other than maybe when you see them for the month stretch during December each year. I'll say a cartoon polar bear or like a, a I would say yes, you do. I would like say, yeah. Song. You if do I, kind of, like, I, a, like a real one, no. Yeah. I think there's an argument at least. Jim. Yeah, I, I think. I, I think the, like in the middle, like it's April right now. I think that if, if I you saw, just saw the, a cartoon, I wouldn't immediately think. Cartoon oh, polar bear? I, 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 I probably would. Steven? Uh, yeah, I, I would have to see it because it, it's tough. I, I don't know if my first thought would immediately be Coke. 
Yeah, I think there's an argument. Like if if yours are, I get it. But if someone else is like, oh, I didn't think of it right off the bat, I would get that too. So that's what I think doesn't make it a strong pick. Okay. It's okay. Um, before I make my second pick, I'd like to talk about TasteRealChicago.com. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. They're always on our desks out here if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, an Italian beef kit. If you've never tried Italian beef, uh, this is your chance. It ships all across the U.S. It ships to Canada. It ships to the U.K. Uh, just go to TasteRealChicago.com. Go grab one of those. Also, J.P. Graziano, they are doing a Golf the Green golf tournament in Lincoln Park. Uh, it's the JPG Giardinera Open. Uh, you could check out uh, JP Graziano on Twitter and Instagram, and uh, you could uh, sign up for details. They have a bunch of merch that looks really cool. They have great merch. He does a mm -hmm. great job with merch. Yeah. A really good job. So buy one of those or get it on the tournament. Either way, uh, the Mr. G will be on the menu all week there. Uh, prizes for teams with low score, close to the pin, long drive, hole in one contest for JPG subs for life. What? Yes. <laughs> Is he nuts? He's boss. He's losing his mind. Man. Yeah. He just sent me this in a text, and I almost want to call him right now and be like, be like "Are you sure?" Yeah. Is this a, is this a, <laughs> like a belated April Fools? Because that's crazy. Are you sure? Uh, they also have a very sharp cross branded. Well, like I said, the event is April twenty eighth through May fifth. The championship night and party with the DJ will be on May sixth. Um, go grab it. Probably. Go. Go grab a beef kit and grab some uh, golf merch or yeah. join his golf tournament. It Dave, Dave awesome. cooked uh, steaks. We did steaks at the office for that March Madness thing in the uh, JPG oil. Yeah, that's how I sear my steaks. Ooh, it was nice. Great. Real nice. Gives you a nice little, yeah. so, little heat and a little extra flavor. Yep. Great so stuff. don't be shy with that stuff. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. So get Put it in your kits. cereal. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm I don't do that. Speaking. Would not actually recommend. Speaking of oh. cereal, David. I'm going to take the first cereal mascot, which I feel like is a lot of pressure because there's a lot there's a of good ones. Yep. There's a lot of good yeah. ones. This is a homer pick. I'm partial to my guy. He won me the Irish shit draft. So I'm going to go with Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms. There might be better ones. I'm there not are. saying that, but I'm partial to my guy. Like I said, uh, he's got a great catchphrase. They're magically delicious. Mm. Uh I don't like marshmallows, and I don't like him. But it's not about the cereal. I'm not. I, I said I don't like marshmallows, and I don't, why don't like, you him. like him. He perpetuates. He's uh, attacking yeah, our culture. He's I making a caricature to, of, our, yeah. of our people. He's a leprechaun dummy. He's, yeah. That's exactly well, what he Leprechauns is. aren't real. How about that? How do you know? It's a myth. I've never seen one before. <laughs> How do you know it's a myth? What is it? What did you say? I, I think he perpetuates negative stereotypes. Yeah, either, about neither the is Kool-Aid, man. Dodo. Like, it's a fucking. Uh... <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he perpetuates all big guys who wear red. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's a he's a he's a like a glass jug. Liquid, yeah. liquid. Well, yeah, but listen. All right, what? And, uh, you just like him because he won you that draft, or you? I don't think he's the best cereal mascot. Like, and I don't even think it's close. I'm not a big cereal guy, but I think there's other good ones. For if you're sure. gunning th for just, I think the most recognizable. I think he's top three. He's not top one. I think there's a top no, one. No, there isn't. I debated him, and like I said, easy top one. Yeah, he's top three, I'd say. Yeah. I like I, I like Lucky. He's a good uh, interpretation. He's also in the Leprechaun 1 movie, that when, like the evil Leprechaun. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That, uh, well, he's not in it, but the Ed, box from it. Can we have a movie night and watch Leprechaun? Because it's been... I've never seen it. Uh, really? 20, probably for Halloween. 27, 28 years since I've seen it, and that movie used to scare the absolute fucking shit out of me. Me too, Dave. Me too. You got any You got any problem with Lucky going here, Steven? Uh, he's not my favorite serial mascot. I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. I'm, not also, I'm also not a fan of the product, but uh, I, I understand that there is certain value in it and, and nostalgia, so I, I can see it. Yeah. He's he's good though. Let's I agree. Like maybe he's not the heavy hitter that people are thinking of, and I know who everyone's thinking of. Mm -hmm. But he's still like there. He's still top three. He's still pretty fucking strong. Yeah. Uh, Chief, back to you. So now I feel like I I don't like that cereal. So I don't like have a connection with the big guy, the one that we're the big one that I think is out there. I'm not gonna take it. So I'm gonna kind of go. Um, I'm gonna go with the Pillsbury Doughboy. Because the Pillsbury Doughboy plays in multiple ways. He's just like this cute little thing of dough. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. You poke him in his little belly. Hoo -hoo. And then, you know, if it's <laughs> if you want to give somebody an insult, like this is where I feel like we did the insults draft. 
And I was like, if someone calls me a fat ass, like it's like, dough boy. Uh, it stings. If someone calls me like a, a Pillsbury dough boy, I'd be like, duh, like that hurt. Damn that it. hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but I love him. He's, he's adorable. If I, I like those little, I, we haven't had them in forever, but the, like the, you crack open that can, oh, make I love the that. little, yeah, the little makes, rolls and pops out. Yeah. So I think it's a good commercial and, and uh, a good mascot and another like iconic one uh, that I am happy to have. Pillsbury also Doe. like. You look at if you size up the Pillsbury Doughboy, like he's pleasantly plump, like he's a plump guy, but oh, I mean, he's got way, me. <laughs> but yeah, but he's got way too much shrapnel for just being like slightly. He like I think if if I didn't know anybody better, I'd think the Pils, Pillsbury Doughboy was a dog, like a little chubby little puppy, because that's like the kind of energy he gives off. Just that like, is kind of true. Like yeah. rub his belly and yeah. watch his arms and legs kick because he's ticklish. Like that's what he <laughs> reminds me of, and that's why I like the Pillsbury Doughboy. I would love to meet him. To meet him, but I would love to be in like the meeting with the marketing people where they were like, "Hey, we got this idea for your mascot," <laughs> <laughs> and like, and then they show it on on camera for the first time, and like the board is just like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> like, nope, just trust us; it's going to be an iconic thing for like seventy years. Yeah. How old is the Pillsbury Doughboy? Nineteen sixty-five, his first appearance okay. was. So almost sixty years. How do you think Patrick Beverly would describe uh, Pop and Fresh's physique? I forgot that's what his actually. Yeah, yeah, that's that's his name, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait, what's his name? It's Pop and Fresh. I actually knew that once he said it. Yeah. No shit. I forgot. I, 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 I had forgotten that. that too, but like he jarred something. He was on he, my board as Pop and Fresh. Okay. He would say he's sturdy and he's a little bit husky. Yeah. That's what but he'd he say. He, he reminds me <laughs> like a little kid who hasn't grown yet, like a little eight-year-old kid that's a little chubby. I was like Not fifteen. Fat, fat, but like a little chubby. Some of us were sixteen. He listen, Chief. Yet. You know what? He was obviously on my list, but mm-hmm. I was like, ah. The more you t- we talk about him, the more I love him. Like, I would watch a movie with this guy. I think it. so, too. <laughs> and you know what it kind of made me think of is uh, the gingerbread man in Trek. Yeah. Like, I would is, love yeah. if the if he had, like, a cameo in, like, one of these, like, a Toy Story or something. Like, I feel like the Doughboy needs, uh, he's ready for the big screen. Actually, we should make a screenplay of all of our favorite mascots that have been drafted. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Well, looking at it, I feel like I don't know. Did they, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was he just ripped a off rip, the Pillsbury sure Doughboy? Even though it's who not came, technically who came go. first. I, and oh, there's there's another before. one. I think that there's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is more similar to like a different one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I mean Ghostbusters came out in the, the '80s, so yeah. Um, all right, Pillsbury Doughboy, White Sox Dave. Unfortunately, this man is extinct physically, but he's not extinct um, oh, in do lore. It. Don't do it. What? Oh, no. Is, I, I have someone who's extinct, and I really want them, so I hope you I'm going that. with the Marlboro Man. Okay. All right. I mean, if you put me in as, like, a little 10-year-old back before it was illegal to advertise nicotine products, and I just stared at the Marlboro Man, like, I would instantly want a cigarette. Because he's that cool with the cowboy hey, hat, Dave? the rugged beard, the this, like outback like vest that he wore. It's like, Americana, isn't it? It's Americana as fuck. <laughs> it's su- give me give me a Marlboro is- Red right fucking now, and I will smoke it just because the Marlboro man told me to. I mean this this guy is American as it gets. It's as American as it I gets. I want to put like a little. They don't grow to well talk about Central them, America, voice. right? What? Yeah, you get the little, little, little gravel the voice, yeah. yeah. He would whoop the shit out of you if you crossed him, yeah. if need be. I mean, but look, he'd also buy an entire round of beers after he did it. Just but I mean, look at that stare. Score like men. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Marlboro man. It's a damn shame that the libs had to <laughs> ruin ruin him. Yeah. And cancer. <laughs> and that. Yeah. Yeah. And that. I hope Ken Jack just takes your graphic spot and he just uses one of those ones they do in the UK and it's just like teeth falling out of like a a cancer filled yeah. mouth. Well, yeah. That was. Why would he do that? That's not the Marlboro Man. Well, that's Marlboro Man died for a reason. He's banned. He's barred. Yeah, because of the lips. Well, and cancer. And, and, yeah. And, I mean, and small part cancer, yeah. Yeah. And emphysema and other diseases that you don't want. But I love the Marlboro Man. He's cool as fuck. Steven He's by, Marlboro, far, the, Marlboro by Man. far the coolest guy that will be drafted today. I don't know about that. Well, I don't know about that either. How can you be cooler than the Marlboro Man? We'll get to it. Yeah. Maybe way to way to pick or two. I also also don't know if he's cooler than his competitor. I'll just say that. Yes. Yep. Yes. That's 
Yeah. And cool yeah. is a key word. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that, like, no, I remember, no, no, I remember no. those billboards. That's those were mascots from what I remember. Well, oh, uh, now I remember it. Now I can't. Now I remember. Oh, now yeah. I remember. <laughs> Fuck. I would like. All right. No, well, the cool billboards, got, it used to just be things. like a group of friends smoking no. cigarettes and it said cool. All right. That's is that's it, what I remember. Is it, but now is I know what you're turn? talking about. It is Chase turn. It's my turn. So I'm going to class it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to go Mr. Peanut. Over 100 years old. Super cool. Top hat. Monogle. He's got the fancy cane, white gloves. I mean, one of the most iconic mascots ever. Uh, also, great product. Love it. Uh, Mr. Peanut. Easy. Fuck he was Mr. number two Peanut. on my board. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Peanut can fuck off Dude. somewhere. Mr. Peanut's a fucking dink. He's a dink. <laughs> they killed him in a Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> he had it coming. In a Super Bowl commercial. That's a good point by Steven, actually. He made it to the Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good retort. <laughs> yeah. Like, instant retort. Yeah, dude. See, 20, in 2020, uh, Mr. Peanut... He fell to his death out of, onto the nutmobile, and he exploded. It's a tragic ending. That's awesome. You wouldn't want to love to fall to your death in a Super Bowl commercial? Obviously a fake death. And then they, they revived, or they suspended the campaign when, when, when Kobe died. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. Of the eight mascots drafted so far, the least two I would want to hang out with are Chase. Mickey Mouse and Mr. Peanut, I want Put those guys in a different bar than me. I'm hanging out yeah. with Marlboro Man and the Kool-Aid guy. And this is fucking shameless pandering, Che. Going for the old vote and the young vote. I mean, was just going for the old vote and the... Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> with, with yeah, all, yeah. All, all the geriatrics yeah. watching YouTube yeah. <laughs> are just hammering the, the yeah. Team One uh, graphic on Twitter. Yeah, what's that uh, Twitter account? Owen's Grandpa or whatever that uh, you love, Dave? It's like an old guy. It's like a parody. That guy's going to vote for you, Che, because you took Mr. Peanut. <laughs> well, look, I don't think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mr. Peanut is an icon and deserves to be held in uh, great respect and regard. <sighs> he's, obvi he's obviously an icon. I just try to avoid the blatant chalk picks like that unless it's like the first or second overall pick. But to each your own. I don't even uh, know if he's blank. I think there's plenty of holes to poke in Mr. Peanut, Dave. I think he's – everybody knows who Mr. Peanut is. Knows who he like, is. That doesn't – Everybody knows Yeah, who he is. but like – Like, uh, it's fucking Peanuts. Who cares? I think oh. he's a great brand mascot. Yeah. Also, so shame on Chief Triple Nut for not taking Mr. Peanut. That, that is true. That is very true. Disgusting. I, I don't like Mr. Peanut. I like the product, but I don't like the logo. You're up again, Stephen. He's pretentious. This fucking yeah. monocle and top hat. Yeah, he has a fucking monocle. Yeah. So it was alluded to moments ago, mm. but uh, we're going to go with uh, Joe Camel uh, from Camel Cigarettes. This guy put an entire brand on his back. Does anybody smoke Camel cigarettes anymore? I, I have not seen a pack of these in quite some time, but this guy, uh, Joe Cool, just the absolute uh coolest dude around sunglasses leather jackets uh i also seen in like he's very cool dude yeah uh, the, i think it's an icon jet that was gonna be my next pick i i i thought dave was describing him and then i don't know if was he on <laughs> yeah. was he on your was he on your board before did dave trigger something no he's on my board okay. he's very high on the board. this guy probably is responsible for more cancer than anyone in lifelong addictions. <laughs> Kids were smoking cigarettes at 10 years old because of Joe Camel, the cartoon. Like he was the epitome of cool. And I feel like they got rid of him like while I was a kid. How old are you, Che? 37. Yeah. So I feel like I have like faint memories. I of do. Him. I definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, you know, kids like this guy way too much. And their kids are going to smoke forever because of Joe Camel. So they made him get rid of him. But he is like the coolest guy. And camels are fucking ugly animals, and it didn't matter. It doesn't matter how ugly you are if you look cool smoking a cigarette. Like, let that be the last. Yeah, but, see, mean, the main problem I have with this though is they should have just traded him to another brand. You know, and be like, hey, he's off the cigs, or like he's Joe Camel shouldn't be dead. You know, yeah. <laughs> like someone else should have. Like there should have been a trade package, and it's like, yeah, he can't do cigs anymore. But like Joe Pack, Joe Campbell is marketing like. Nicorette. Uh, yeah, baby food or something. You know what I mean? Like yeah. something 
well, that's Blue Cross of, Blue Shield. What, what a movie. <laughs> Cigarettes to baby food. Those yeah. are both kind of that's good. Those are both kind of lame. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Like some other brand should have taken on Joe Camel. Yeah. No, it's a shame. I mean, because he was he was sweet. He was sweet. They did take real camels into in, an insurance thing. I wouldn't say that that's their mascot, so I don't think it's tipping hmm. any picks. But camels are around, just not in the cool-looking form. Yeah. R.I.P. Joe Campbell. Yeah. This guy looks like he sits in a weight room a little too much for my liking. So we have two deceased mascots on the board right now. Joe Campbell canceled and Marlboro mascots. Mascot. Yeah, canceled, canceled and yeah. deceased, yes. Uh, White Sox did. And Wyatt? Oh. Because of cancer, I, I I just googled it and they there I, is I, uh, I, Joe Camel like in a hospital bed, yeah, looking yeah. old and haggard. Joe Chemo, yeah, Joe Chemo. Oh, that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that's awful. I was gonna bring it up, but I thought I would get kind of yelled at for that. But yeah, yeah. The, the picture is kind of bad. It'd be a shame it's if Ken Jack used that one. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, WSD. White Sox, Dave. Joe Ken Jack. All right. For this one, I am going to the beverage industry, and I'm going to go with the most interesting man in the world. It's on high on my list. Those are a fucking plus commercials. I feel like you're just going after all your vices now. Too. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that's what I said I was doing. Like my favorites, yeah. my favorites. Just a beer drinking, smoking beef jerky <laughs> man. It's a, he's Americana. Dave, What's more American? Dave is Mr. This? America right now. Uh, you got a problem with that, Ed? <laughs> what? Mr. America? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Red Ed over here. He wants to cancel you. Exactly. The campaign ended in 2018. How do you feel about Why that? Why do people fuck with things? Why do people try to fix things that aren't broken, Ed? Because those were just perfect commercials. Put a new one out every six months or whatever. People like... There are a couple brands out there, and one of which I assume is going to be drafted coming up, that I truly enjoy their commercials. I fucking hate commercials typically. Handful, I enjoy. Most interesting man in the world is one of them. Yeah, like I don't know if I know what that beer is without him. No chance. You know? Yeah. Because, hold on, who, who makes it? Who makes Dos Equis? So who bottles it? Yeah. I'm I don't know. pretty sure it's AB. I mean, there's been so many like acquisitions over the years. Yeah. That I, I couldn't even tell you. But, but I mean, he, he is an iconic one, and it's one of those like. Heineken is the parent company. Okay. okay. Um, hmm. Which I think, yeah, whatever. Um, but it's like before that, the only Mexican beer you knew was Corona. And mm -hmm. then it was like, oh, there's more than just Corona? Oh, yeah, there's Dos Equis, and it's the most interesting man in the world. I'll say it flat out. I love Mexican beer. I've really, yeah. really starting to get into it. It was when the Sox changed Modelo. I was like, Modelo, dude, fuck that. Like, give me cheap domestic American beer. I love Mexican beer. Yeah. And it's due in part because of the most interesting. But, yeah, you're right, because I think – I don't know if you guys ever had a Soul. Yeah. Uh, so I think Soul's better. It's great. Soul's really good. Oh, yeah. Ever and had it. Uh, they just don't have that most interesting man in the world. Yeah. You know, so, um, but hey, I'll, I'll say this too. I mean, for, like, uh, you know, you don't need those beers because we have Miller Lite. Miller Lite is the absolute best. It is the absolute best. Um, shout out to them because the NFL draft is coming up and, you know, who knows what we're going to do. It's anyone's guess. And, uh, you know, but uh, Stephen Shea, what do you think? I mean, yeah, what are the Bears we're, doing? I wouldn't be surprised if Jalen Carter uh, fell a little bit. I don't know if he's going to get down to your guys' range now that you trade it down. Uh, but, you know, tackle certainly in need. Peter Skronsky, local guy, um, potential. Paris Johnson, who knows. Uh, I, I would think that they're going to go tackle or potentially receiver. All right, we'll see. Receiver well, I, would be something. I'm against that. A little high for JSN. But. Yeah. But I, listen, I mean, there's, there's, uh, you know, there's one selection. Like I said, we all can share, and mm -hmm. that's a nice cold Miller Light because Miller Light knows that beer lovers want their beer to taste like beer. That's why they brew a light beer that's light on calories, not on taste. Because what's the point of having a beer if you can't taste it? Right, Dave. That's goddamn truth, Dad. And you don't. Sometimes your product is so good you don't need a mascot. No. And that's Miller Lite. They got that white can. Yep. That's all they need. Miller Lite is the absolute best. They don't need all the cheap thrills and all that hoopla. And that's what they they pride themselves. Selves on. Selves itself. So, like, high or low, like Miller Lite, you know. 
um, till kickoff comes and till, till kickoff comes around again, enjoy the beer that tastes like the season. Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com uh, slash Redline to get it delivered right to your door. Or you can pick it up anywhere they sell beer. Let's be honest, pretty much anywhere, I guess. Uh, it's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Okay, Chief. Um, again, the big cereal guys sitting out there, but, I, but that's just not my style. So I'm going to go with a, a personal pick here. This was, uh, I was this guy for Halloween as much as possible because I'm not a big Halloween guy. It was super easy. I'm taking the brawny man, paper towel guy, throw on that flannel shirt. You put on the suspenders and you just walk around with the paper towel uh, roll all night. But that's like, that's an iconic brand, iconic guy. He's kind of like Americana too. And uh, so, and that is, that's a personal one to me just because I, I dressed as him like every Halloween for like six years in a row in my 20s. So the brawny man. Dave? I had to Google him to, because I always mix him up <laughs> with the, uh, with the, <laughs> the cleaning solution guy. Well, how do you do that? Because like, uh, that's how not memorable or recognizable oh, brawny man is to me. I think that's crazy. It's a dude in a flannel. No, I know. I had to, I had to remember yeah. what his face looked like because I'm like, chiseled. You did that chiseled like, face. He, I yeah, thought he was I'll, a bald I'll, guy. Dave, I'm agreeing with you. He's not crazy recognized. Like he's just a dude in a flannel. Yeah, he's got a jaw like an anvil, and he will clean your kitchen. Congrats, you took dollar store Paul Bunyan, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Congrats. That's what he did. All right. Well, I like it. I like my pick. I'm happy with my pick. It's a personal one. And I look at. I didn't want to go with the chalky ones. And I like the brownie man. So, yeah, and what's wrong with flannels? That is Americana. You just love flannels. I do love flannels. Flannels and sweaters. Yep. <laughs> Take a guy with a sweater next. Actually, Steven, can you email the merch team and have them send me one of those Moon Man flannels? I think I like them. Thank you. No, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's not on the business side anymore. So? full-time content now. So, Steve, you hate the Brawny Man pick? Yeah, it is a crazy pick. Uh, I like nothing it. general what the, about this guy. He has a flannel. I don't even remember like what exactly his face looks That's like. Exactly. You could argue it's not even the best paper towel. Uh, yeah, pass on Brownie Man. Not the best paper towel mascot because I can't think of another one. Not the best paper towel product. Uh, it's it's a it's a great product. There's there's two. There's only two that you need. I bet you if I went to your apartment right now and I looked under your sink, there wouldn't be Brownie. It'd be like <laughs> yeah. it'd be it like is, the, at currently it is the other one because they're on sale. <laughs> oh. But I, but we're not drafting. I bet you if I went to your house, I wouldn't find a carton of Marlboros. What are we talking about? <laughs> not a carton. <laughs> You'd find a pack or two. Really? You're you don't smoke. No, I don't oh. smoke. But they've been left there, and I've kept them. <laughs> well, you're just <laughs> you're just what a loophole. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, so well, like, people there, left there, trash in my house, there, so I, I have it. It's yeah. a it's a full pack, and I just threw it in in a desk. I'm like, oh, these are somebody's. If they oh, come back I eventually. thought you were saying some of the girls that come to the White Sox, Dave Den, they're just ripping Marlboro Reds. No, it's a uh, Marlboro <laughs> Lights. It's like the gray brand, Virginia whatever. Slims. whatever. Which I love. It's Marlboro, though. I know it's Marlboro. You, I would love if you dated a girl who just smoked Reds. Just Dave. ripped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Um. All right, to me. All right, if no one's gonna take him, I'll fucking take him. Take him. I'm taking Tony. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. And listen, I feel like he got passed on a lot, but at the end of the day, he is a good vibes guy. He is. Mm-hmm. He's a great yeah. vibes guy. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he looks he – Great. Like, I would, uh, I would definitely a agree. great guy. Yeah, gr- yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, he's – the kids love him. Mm-hmm. He's nice. He's good with the kids. Yeah. Uh, I think he's like seven foot something. So, you know – he can anchor a, a pickup basketball team like like they said in those fictionary drafts. He does look like an athlete. Uh, let me see his height. So, uh, I'll, I'll, oh, he's only 6'3"? No, that's, Dave, that's Dave's perfect height for a guy. That is true. <laughs> is it? <laughs> for an athlete. I don't think you dis- distinguished it last time. I think we were just talking about, like, would you rather – it was, like, bald – and you're like, no, 6'3 is like the perfect height for a guy. Yeah, because we, we said we wouldn't want to be seven feet like Frank Kaminsky. Yeah. That's where it came in. I'm like, 6'3, that's about the perfect height. Like, yeah. You can be too tall because then height becomes an inconvenience. So is he short for a tiger? How tall, how tall are tigers? A tiger on his hind leg, I bet taller than 6'3. I, I would lower that. I think the perfect height for a guy is like 6'1 and a half. 
I'm Thank six you. three. Thank you, you Stephen. Airport airport seats get a little bit tight. Sometimes the bed can be a little bit too short. Uh, I'm not complaining if you're playing pickup basketball. Everybody expects you to like bang down low. Nah, let me let me go dance on the three point line with the guards. I'm I'm about six one and a half. So thank you, Stephen. He's got to be taller than six three. They well, said Foster Flake said a, that. A, uh, Siberian tigers have a shoulder height of thirty to forty two inches, and then their body length, so nose to tail, uh, is anywhere from five foot seven to six foot ten. So six hmm. ten. That's that's a pretty big tiger. Frosty Flakes. Sing it, Dave. I don't know that song. Yeah, you do. I don't think so. Frosted Flakes, they're more than good. Frosted Flakes, they're more than good. They're great. Yeah, now I remember. Come on. You're not that much of an alien. I, I, I no, don't remember it, it. It took me a minute, he's, but once you started it, singing he's it. He's having a hard they're time more jogging it. You knew it, right, Steve? Oh, good. by the way, your friend I, that I, I didn't made think the of it at first, but when you said it, yeah, I can recall that. I've got pictures of you from your childhood that you, I met from your friend at the Cubs game. Oh, really? So you better watch yourself because I might just start <laughs> tweeting things out. <laughs> I love good blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. Can I see him? Yeah, in a minute. Um, okay, back to me. So I got two spots left. Ooh. I really want three people. So it's a, it's a conundrum. I'm going to take the Burger King. That guy was fucking great. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he Bert, he was hilarious. Creep. Yeah, but he was yeah, hilarious. He, he was a pervert. <laughs> he was great. I think it was, yeah, Dave and Big Cat. They met with, they met with Burger King like way back in the day, like when it was like a huge deal to get a brand like that on board. So this is probably 2014, 2015. and they're like, yeah. So what do you think? Like, how can we integrate? Like, whatever. And they're just like, hey, just two things. Just if you bring back chicken fries and you bring back the king, <laughs> like you guys will soar. Yeah. And that was their only thing. Uh, the king was – there was something great about how creepy he was. Well, it was just he like never moved. Like he had no right. facial expression. Like regardless of the situation, he just had that fucking grin on his face. Yes, and just this big giant plastic head. It's tough. Dude. Do you remember, do you remember during the um, – I think it was the first Pacquiao Mayweather fight. He came out with Mayweather's entourage, and it was just like one oh. of the more shocking. Like, wait, what the fuck? The Burger King, dude. That's I, I don't remember that, but that is that is fucking. Awesome. What do you think they paid to be a member of his entourage? I saw right here when the, he he paid one million dollars to have him included in Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s entourage. What a deal! A million. I mean, that's you know what? If you want to pay me a million dollars, I'll shill out for anybody, and I'll take back what I said about the Burger King. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I, I do feel obligated to mention, as always, that my family has had a ban on Burger King since 1996, thanks to my dad. He got the they got too many orders wrong too many times in a row in the drive through, so nobody in my family has had Burger King since 1996. <laughs> a, a, a cool a cool mascot, but I just I don't fuck with the king. Uh, they retired the 2000s version in 2011 uh, because chief financial officer. Explained that he was uh, creepy and he scared he scared away women and children. <laughs> Fuck yeah, he did. Yeah, that guy Come sets on, off alarm dude. bells big time. Yeah. The thought that the Burger King got folded up and they shoved him into some storage box and he's been in BKHQ since for, for 12 years is, doesn't sit well with me. Doesn't I think, I well think he kind of stinks. Any regrets on that pick, Eddie? Not at all. I think he's hilarious. He, he was, dude, he's funny, and he was out there, and I appreciate that they took an approach. Actually, I'm happy he's gone because he doesn't deserve to be lumped with their dog shit product that they have now. So uh, he got out of the I think right the, time. I think the Whopper is a very good burger. That's, Outside of the Whopper. That's all they have, though. That's it. Yeah, agreed. They but they used to have a lot of good shit, but they butchered. Rodeo the burger used to be pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I would say those two, and that's it. Yeah, they got new fries, got new onion, like they, they, new chicken tenders. They fucked up everything. Their chicken tenders used to be good, if I remember from when I was. They used to be great. Nine. The crown. Yeah. From yeah. 1995. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 95. Yeah, that was a crown. The yeah. crown ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh chief. Um, I'm going fast food as well. I love the Chick Fil A cows. They're just telling they're you. Funny, yeah. They're tra- telling you to eat more chicken. They can't spell anything. They're in those kind of funny scenarios. I also, just as an animal, I love a moo cow. I love a black and white moo mm-hmm. cow, uh, so I want the moo cows on my board, and I think they do a great job uh, promoting chicken. 
So I'm taking the Chick-fil-A Moo Cows, and I like them better than the King, and everybody loves the Moo Cow. I think this is a bad pick. I think I think Why? the King was a bad pick. Because it's like it's just cow, like I like the, the the joke is funny. Yeah, the joke is good. Mm -hmm. Eat more chicken, like yeah, you know, say the it's the joke is funny, but uh, there's nothing to. There's nothing to Moo Cows. They're American. It's just a cow. Like what's its name? I don't know. What's the Marlboro Man's name? Marlboro Man. Well, it's just like this is the Chick Fil A cow. It's just the cow and a man. It's like the same fucking thing. Checkmate. No, that there's no check checkmate. Ed, Hold Ed, on. I'll get you Ed, his name. I'll checkmate. get you his name. Hold on. What's his fucking he, name? The actor, the model might have a name, but like he's he's the Marlboro Man. He's going to be on the graphic as a Marlboro Man, just like I'm going to have the Chick-fil-A cow. It's the brand and the noun. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah, checkmate. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah. Checkmate. Yep, yep, yep. He, I, Ed, I, I'm not finding a name. No, Ed, this pick checkmate. sucks. This pick checkmate. sucks. Checkmate. No, I like Steve, the Chick-fil-A. Steve, is this a good pick? Checkmate. Uh, I I don't hate it. Chick Fil A cows are on my board for sure. Thank you. Uh, I on on another awesome. hand, I'm a chess guy. You gotta say check before you go check me. I mean, no, I just skip straight to check. No me. moves left and it's done. I mean, Eddie was fighting for a little bit. You gotta. I yeah, like but sometimes people check. stare at the board. They're like, wait, no, and they're like, no, dude, it's checkmate. Like you don't even see it yet. It's checkmate. <laughs> okay, you feel so strongly about yeah, that. Yeah, checkmate. Yeah, okay, I can see no. it. Bad pick. I didn't they know you were a chess guy, Stephen. Oh, yeah. They promote chicken, and it's for self-preservation. Yeah, the joke is funny, but yeah. the mascot itself is Mar not. Like, do Dave, a little more. give us a moo cow sound. Moo. <laughs> Bad. Checkmate. Um, Next yeah. time we go out to a nice dinner, I'm not letting him order any anything cow-related. Anything. <laughs> it's barred. He's, he's banned from it. Why? Because he's talking shit about the moo cows. Who, Eddie is? Eddie is. Yeah, that's true. But it's actually probably should be reversed. Yeah, it's like reversed. I love know. the cows, so yeah. then I, maybe I shouldn't eat them. Yes. I thought you were gonna, I thought that was that's what I no, thought no, no, you were no, saying, no, too. No, no, but I'm, I'm with you on that. He's, yeah. he's banned from that, too. Yeah, because it, it should be you. His enjoy brain the is scrambled. Branzini next time. It is a little bit scrambled. Yeah. <laughs> for a particular reason that just happened. <laughs> that threw me off. Uh, on to my pick. You're up, yeah. Um... Okay, I'm all right. So I'm gonna go with my personal favorite commercial in the world, in the entire world. It's still playing and it still makes me laugh out loud. I'm going Pinocchio with Geico, the one where he's like the motivational speaker and he's like, "You could have success. You could have." Success. And then he looks at that fucking fat loser and his nose starts growing, and he That's starts. That's not lying. even the Geico mascot. Yeah. Ah, Dave. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I no. They got multi. They got like mascot. three or four That's mascots. They got like three or four. I mascots. mean, they they got they got their their main one. Though. I they have multiple mascots. But they got they got the one. I understand. That, I wouldn't even say it's the one. I'd say they got two that are, and obviously Pinocchio is the Wait, third. But you those said they got are the funniest. Okay, so they got two, and he's not in the top two. I would say he's the third one, but he's my favorite one because that commercial is the funniest commercial I've ever seen. I Are you literally favorite commercials or best mascots. Uh, com my favorite mascots from different like commercials, movies, whatever. I don't care. Brands, it doesn't matter. I'm going with my favorite ones. Oh, and damn then it. I think you botched this. I didn't botch anything. He, it's he's awesome. He's hilarious. Then he goes on a, a Tinder date, and and she's he's obviously not what he looked like in the picture, and she just gets up and leave. Those commercials are so funny and that's what i'm looking for in a mascot can you make me laugh and, and like you know what i will look at geico because of those commercials because of pinocchio in those commercials no you absolutely will not you're not going to go online and look into different car insurance because that made you laugh that's you definitely were, true you i'd consider it it'd be the thought would be <laughs> no, in my yeah. head but i wouldn't change it hit, a, I don't hit him with a checkmate steven it'll feel good <laughs> that's <a> check <laughs> If you don't have that commercial, you don't have. You have a big dump in your pants. It's a funny commercial, but he's not like I don't think of him as their mascot. It's just like, and what like I don't know. One of their other ones is so fucking funny. I don't like the other one. The little one or the other one? The other one. The other one. I like. It's fucking I actually do. I would like to meet dude. that guy. The voice. Yeah, he's great. We'll yeah. get into him later. All right. Uh, Pinocchio, puzzling, David. Che. <laughs> Um, you want me to go uh, with my heart? Or you want me to pander? 
There, there's three that I want, and I have two back-to-back -back picks right now, so I kind of got to decide the best order for these. I think the one I got to go with, especially since we're kind of on the topic of fast food this round, the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Mm. Those, uh, yeah, they were iconic. Uh, certainly, uh, definitely more famous in like the late 90s, early 2000s, when it was, you know, the burger wars were happening. Taco Bell, I would argue, is the best alternative, is, in my opinion, the best fast food. And this Chihuahua kind of blew them up to a different level where they're kind of, you know, now if you say, you know, whatever, Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, all that stuff, Taco Bell is right up there in the top tier of fast food foods with those. Um, so I would say uh, Taco Bell, Chihuahua. Yeah, I mean, he was a he was a big time. A titan. Yeah. A titan. Hey, how long has he been retired? Uh, looking that up now. Did he get canceled by the libs, too? No, it uh, <laughs> probably he, in July t 2000, Taco Bell ended the Chihuahua advertisements. Hmm. And uh, I felt I would have guessed like 2014. I feel like that dog had staying power. I would have guessed like I, I would 2006, guess 2008, okay. something like that. What year was it? Did you say 2000? Fuck that long ago, yeah. That is one of those I feel old moments right there. 2000, 23 years ago. They should bring him back. They should do a Super Bowl. Oh, average. apparently he was a he was well he was right he was a cultural stereotype. Stephen, are you okay with that? Oh fuck! Because it's a Mexican dog. Some Three. Latin Americans accuse that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I associate Mexican Chihuahuas food. with like annoying girls more than I do. Anything like else. Paris Hilton. Yeah. Remember when she had that Chihuahua? Yeah. Where they is... are kind of yappy, and I swear to God, if you gave a pit bull, which have bad stigmas about them, in my opinion. A chihuahua's brain, that'd be like the meanest animal on earth. Yeah. Chihuahuas can be mean fucking a assholes for little two pound dogs. What were you going to say, Steven? Um, no, sorry. Uh, I mean, I, I firmly stand behind the pick. I'm not, uh, I think the chihuahua was in no way extra. I mean, it's, pr it's a dog promoting a Mex Mexican food in a different uh, region land culture so i think it, it was what it was and it did a great job i also believe I, i'm trying i was trying to find the stat i couldn't find it but i believe that dog just like got so popular like after that and it was like super yeah. you like know, people buying yeah people bought okay yeah. yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised I, at all i Chihuahua mean he was exploded after for a hot that. minute he was like the mascot yeah like the yeah. mascot um all right steven you could kick off the fifth round I'm really in between two. I'm gonna go with, uh, yeah, I th I'm gonna go with Chester Cheetah from Cheetos. He's cool. I think he's very cool. Um, I used to think Cheetos were cool because of this guy. I think the commercials are good. Um, yeah, I mean, just a cool looking mascot. I think pretty iconic. You don't really see, um, I guess, you know, Tony the Tiger maybe closest competition as far as cool looking orange. I Jungle think he's cooler level. than Tony, but I think he's cooler yeah, than Tony. He's, he's, a, little, he's a little bad. Sunglasses. He's a bit of a yeah. bad boy. He's got that little yeah. edge to him. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go chest. Like he smokes cigarettes with Joe Camel. Yes, offset. yes. Tony's yeah. they're offset. They're smoking cigarettes together. Tony's a better friend. Okay. And yeah. I mean, sometimes you need a friend that gets you in a little bit of trouble. Like, that's well, yeah, why, that's sometimes why I, you need yeah. Tony yeah, right. when it's that's like, oh, right. that's why I like Dave. We're yeah. staying you need in. Your we're friend to get you in a whole trouble. We're staying in with Tony. We're to play some N64. Sometimes you need Tony. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes you need Chester to like, yeah, to like throw rocks at cars. Steven, uh, did you feel the need to go like kind of cooler on the backstretch after you started off with back to back dinks? No. <laughs> Just the way the board <laughs> no. came to you. No, not at all. I mean, I'm going for most. In my mind, best and most iconic mascots. And these are the ones that spoke to me. There's one other one that I kind of uh, maybe could have swapped out for Chester Cheetah, but I, I just like Chester better. I love Cheetos as a product, too, Frito-Lay as a whole. He's cool. He's a cool mascot for sure. Chester Cheeto. Um, and, like, I feel this is stupid, but the different – the different uh, he changes his vibe on each different uh, Cheeto, you know? Yeah. He's a little more yeah. bad boy on the flaming hot bag. Yeah, he puts on that <laughs> leather jacket. <laughs> yeah. Flaming hot hots bag. are a little more bad boy yeah. himself. Exactly. Yeah, and then you know the, the puffs. He's a yeah. little. Yeah, he, he's a little more Tony the Tigerish with those. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. 
I'm going to go with someone near and dear to my heart. I'm going to go with McGruff, the crime dog. You Ooh. guys can go ahead and bring No, I like McGruff. Dozen. I think he's the coolest dog so far taken. But what is he a mascot <laughs> of? What are you laughing at? <laughs> you guys myself. are both looking Dude. down, writing it down. I'm looking at I Steven to sneeze. get his reaction. And I, I didn't realize he was sneeze, sneezing for a split second. And he's just like... I thought he was a legit about to puke at my pick. Because <laughs> his face started like puckering up. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I was about to get beyond roasted for something right there, and he was just sneezing. But um, No, the crime dog's legit. Yeah, I what it, but pick. what is he a mascot of? And what is his Dare. brand? Dare? Dare, yeah. Is he? Okay. Is he? No, so. he's not the Dare. I thought he's he just, was just like... He's just like... Yeah, he's I mean, just a crime dog. I, I, thought, I thought Dare for some reason, but he was the pick... I, I feel wanted like him for my last uh, pick because of the dozen thing when we were all blasted on uh, Memorial Day or oh, whatever. Yeah. That was probably three years ago, like coming up. That was a long time ago. But um, National Crime Prevention Council. Okay, there we go. So it's just like a PSA. You took a you took a <laughs> mascot of just like a public service announcement. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. What a squad. Everybody. I mean, I mean McGruff's like, cool. He's not. He's not really. Re yeah. Detectives are always badass. Yeah. Like any sort of detective or secret service agent, or take a bite like, out of crime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. But Ed, you're a big deep, deep, no. I'm not gonna go there. Um. Yeah, <laughs> oh, McGruff's the best. Where was I? <laughs> you know where I, was I know where you're going. I'm yeah. glad you didn't say it. We'll say that. <laughs> uh, I actually think it's a good pick. This yeah. might be your. Yeah, this is probably your best pick besides. I saved him for last. He was uh. Like I had the list that I Googled and the list that like when I think company brands, those ones that popped in my head. So I gave a little bit of a mix with my five picks, but obviously I had to go Mc yeah. McGruff because of the McGriff snafu on the dozen almost three years ago to the day. Sounds so serving. Uh, Chief, you're up. All right. So I'm going with one that I have a personal connection with. Um, I had like a little internet romance with this one. Josie's Organics. She's a smoke show. She is the. She she's just beautiful. What she the if, like fuck if you were this. I yeah if you look up Ed, like she yeah, is she is a smoke Josie's I, Organics. I vaguely is, remember is this. a rocket. So this was back in like 2020. I think they sent me like a big thing of like vegetables for for talking about her, and ah. she's just like if <laughs> if you were to like like AI would create like my perfect woman. It would be Josie's Organics. Like if if she could somehow come to life and be a real girl, I would marry her tomorrow. I and so, I mean that. I mean Chief, marry. This Chief, is about love, not lust. Chief, we will draft cartoons. We want to bang at some point. She. You could have just saved her for that. You think this? I won't draft her twice? She would be my number one for that. So I mean, I'm look at Steven had a, a look at her fucking legs, Ed. <laughs> They don't stop. I've only seen her. I'm not listening. I'm not. I don't know Joe. But is she a real person though? Like, is there a? No, uh, she's, no a I, she's a cartoon. I, I, so they're named after their grandmother, but who has passed? Because I've had like legit dialogue and DMs with Josie's Organics, and so Josie was like the, the family matriarch because <laughs> I love her, and it's a strong organic produce brand that I buy frequently. And every time I'll, I'll reach for like that thing of celery or, or broccoli or whatever, and I see that picture, I'm like, God damn, you're beautiful. And uh, it's it's Josie's Organics. So if you look at my Instagram algorithm, it's like 99% like cooking accounts, like pasta, the pasta queen and like shit like that. Ingredients. There's Yeah, I love, I love that woman. <laughs> There's this lady I stumbled upon who is the real life version of her. And I've, I send. Can, I'm going to send you right now. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and every time I, I, I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'll see her and I'll be like, that is the Josie Organics girl in real How life. How have you not sent this to me before? Because I, I always forget. I always forget because it's she's so rarely brought up. But Yeah. Um, I, I will buy. I will spend like a little bit more on a particular item for Josie. Oh, because yeah. like I got brand loyalty because they sent me that package one time and she's, she's easy on the eyes. So Josie's organics. Hey, any thoughts? She's not gonna fuck you, bro. <laughs> well, she's an inanimate object. So, so. <laughs> oh no, no, but no, I those, would take another like. Those tits are very real. <laughs> they are, but very but it's real. just a hint. It's just a hint. She's classy. Josie organics. All right, all right. Hold on, before we hold on, Chief, Chief, Chief. It is 
sent before we switch subject. Okay. Well, I mean, we're switching subject. I'll probably keep my thoughts about this real person to myself. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not asking you to go there. I'm asking if you agree with the the comparison. There's some some similarities there, but not. I think yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the dead ringers. That's her. No, I'll follow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. It's to me, Mr. Irrelevant. I'm between two. This is very hard. I want to get both these guys, but obviously I can't. Um, Do a coin flip or something, Ed. I'll just touch on the one guy in honorable mention. I'll take the stronger mascot as a whole, and he's he's dead, unfortunately. But I, if you guys don't respect this pick, fuck all three of you. But I got to I gotta pour one out for Jeffrey the Draft. Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, he's a good time. Yeah. That's that's nostalgia right there. Who's on my list? Refresh my memory? You're a Toys R Us kid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I still, love that store. I still think about that last tweet, and it still breaks my heart. Say it. What was it? There was a picture of Jeffrey, and I think it was from the Toys R Us main account, and all the shelves were empty, and it said, I guess all the kids have grown up. There are no more Toys R Us kids. Damn. And it was, it was oh, really that like really a, is sad. That was sad. like, yeah, it was like a. Uh, Fucking Jeff Bezos, it, man. It's legit sad. Yeah. It's legit sad. Now it's just like I, I feel like I want to just stand graveside with Joe Camel and just smoke a heater thinking about all the good times with Jeffrey the Draft now that we're all grown up. I'm trying to find that tweet. It's so It's so sad. You know why Toys R Us went under, right? I'm, I want to blame it on Bezos. It wasn't that? even because no, they weren't even doing poorly. It's just like a they they there was a big mismanagement or something, right, Che? Yeah, they hired David Blattman. So <laughs> Blattman like worked for them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Really went down. Yeah. Elaborate, elaborate. I'm on his LinkedIn right now. Um, multimedia content producer, October 17th to May 2018. So eight months, quick stint. Uh, but yeah, just just drove him right into the ground. Just pile Jesus. drove him. Yeah, it was guys, such a but, treat you know. to go there. Like you open up your mailbox, you get your ten dollar birthday cards. You have like sixty bucks of birthday cash, thinking you're the richest person on earth as a little eight year old. And like get in the car, we're going to Toys R Us. Give me that super soaker. God damn, was yeah. that 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 was back when I liked things. <laughs> and enjoyed people <laughs> and enjoyed life. Now I just fucking hate everybody and everybody's like, fuck everybody. Yeah, that, that's really Those were the good times, Steven. Those were the good times. And you have kids. They don't get to experience that. Where do they go for toys? Yeah, what, what, do, I, I that's like to, an I, actual question. Uh, when I buy go? my nephews, I just go to Target or, or I buy them on Amazon. Yeah. Like there's yeah, no experience. Exactly, yeah. Amazon sends a um, – like a, a toy catalog every like holiday season. Damn. So that and yeah, Target. That sucks. That's it's not the same. A, yeah, it's not the same. That's a damn. It's not, I mean, yeah, it's not fully. Toys R Us used to be like an anchor store. Like if you're gonna have a yeah. strip mall, you better that's, have a Toys R Us in there. That's really sad. That's super sad. That's, that's like that's... really sad. <laughs> it is. Damn. Ugh. Thanks, Black. How'd you have to draft that one? Well, because I, I, I don't want it to deserve move, to be. See, I, I, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, in memorandum. Yeah, that's I true. don't want him to be forgotten. He was the only one that's dead, and it wasn't because of cancellation. Yes, cigarettes <laughs> and and yeah, cancellation. Appropriating yeah. stereotypes of different cultures. That yeah. was really bad that Stephen took that. By the way, uh, okay, I'll run through them, and we'll do honorable mention. Uh, che, Mickey Mouse, Mr. Peanut, Joe Camel, Chihuahua from Taco Bell, Chester Cheeto. White Sox Dave, Bigfoot from Jack Lynx, Marlboro Man, most interesting man in the world, Pinocchio from Geico, uh, McGruff the Crime Dog, Chief Kool-Aid Man, Pillsbury Doughboy, The Brawny Man, Chick-fil-A Cows, Josie's Organics, Eddie, Coca-Cola Polar Bears, Lucky from Lucky Charms, Tony the Tiger, Burger King, Jeffrey the Draft, Toys R Us. Uh, Dave the Caveman is the best ancillary Geico commercial person there is. Yeah. Not the Gecko. No, those ones. I don't hate make... the gecko. Yeah, the gecko is the is the mascot. Yeah, the yes. gecko is the mascot. But the caveman. I th and for some yeah, reason, it... when you said it, I I was talking about Gilbert Gottfried. That's obviously a different company. It's Aflac. Yeah, yeah, it's Aflac. Yeah. Um, like, do you remember the caveman? Yeah, of course I remember so the caveman. Good. The like the oh, the I handful of the yes. Pinocchio commercials, they actually made me laugh out loud when like the when Tinder became a big thing. He sits down. And he's like, well. 
I might, might look a little different than my pictures, but I've been working out like hitting the treadmill. And she gets up and walks away. And he's like, wait, wait. It has nothing to do with an insurance company, but they were so fucking topical and funny. I just loved them. And that's why I picked it because I wanted to talk about them. And I wanted people to understand how good those commercials were. So I, I knew what I was doing. I knew, like, vote me off. It happens. I'm, I had two in a row a couple weeks ago. I'll take the hit on this one just okay. to talk about yeah. Pinocchio. Okay. Um, Monopoly Man, Michelin Man. Yep. The red and yellow M&M are awesome. They have a great relationship. I don't. Yeah. The red M&M is kind of a dick, though. Well, yeah, yeah it, but it was you like need Harry a, and Mark. They need were a, like yeah, you need fucking a, assholes. You need a balancing out act. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I really wanted was uh, the Little Caesar guy from he Little Caesar. Like, uh, you want to talk about a guy. That's all he says. Yeah. <laughs> he's never said anything else his life. He's got one pitch. He's a yeah. knuckleballer. Yeah. The, he's <laughs> like, he's the cartoon version of Can You Hear Me Now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. he is I, the pizza pizza guy. He, I mean, he's Hodor from Hodor. Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's all he says. Yeah. yeah. What a legend. Uh, Slim Jim and mm. uh, Snack Crackle Pop. Those, those I boys. Like, that's still my favorite cereal, probably. The one I get the most. Yeah, I'm gonna a if I'm going to have cereal, pop. I get Rice Krispies. Shout out to those boys. Um, I think you could put the Keebler Elves. They're kind of right there, cousins of these. Yeah, they're yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, Captain Morgan. Mm -hmm. um, Colonel Sanders. I feel like that's... But that was on my uh, on yeah, my list, definitely. Um, and I feel like you have a thing for like you you've drafted Mister Clean at, at a different for a the different, bald guy draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Mister Clean, did you say him in honorable mention? No, I did not. Okay. Um, Toucan Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's yep. good. That's a good one. He's good. Yeah. The guy I was between with my last pick with Chester Cheeto, and uh, it was this guy it was Mario. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought that list. like that that was in the same vein to me as Mickey Mouse. But I don't. Yeah. I, I would actually push back on that a little bit because is he Nintendo's mascot or is he just Mario? That's why I didn't do it because I, I thought that there could be some pushback with. Nintendo. Oh, I feel like he's Nintendo. Here, I don't think right. so. What is? What I is think he he's yeah. maybe not officially, but he's their mascot. Well, that's the same thing as Mickey. <laughs> no, I know that's why. That's why I didn't have either on my board. Okay. Um. um other ones, Energizer Bunny. Yeah, that was. I'm like, I skipped all those guys. I, yeah. I only buy Duracells. Some other, uh, some other brewers, uh, Clydesdales. Oh, the, yeah, that's, fuck them though. Th why? Yeah, I'm a Miller White guy through and through. Oh, that's true. But I mean, I do like those beautiful animals. I will say that. Those and, uh, animals are so yes, fucking pretty. Cletus the robot from uh, Fox Sports. I saw oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. That robot's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? I had the Miller White twins canceled. <laughs> oh yeah, no, twins were great. Yeah, <laughs> and twins. I should have just drafted uh, uh, Jerome Bettis for the Manlaw commercials. Manlaw, Triple H. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. just a bunch of like random like manly men. Donovan McNabb's Those mom for were great. Campbell's That's soup. That's a good one. That wasn't his real mom. I know. Yeah, yeah. It should, well, I don't know why they wouldn't have just had her. That would have been kind of a cool story. She was an actress. She was the uh, principal or maybe vice principal in uh, the show City Guys. Oh, the, the commercial. Everyone remembers that show. Yeah, of course. I don't remember. It was it. On, uh, on, was it one Saturday morning? One Saturday morning. I think it was like at 11 or 12 o'clock. It's when it started to get a little bit more serious. Right after uh, hang time. Anybody else? I think we, we my list ones. has been exhausted. Yeah. 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 Jay, anything else? How do you feel about your parking challenge coming up, Eddie? I, has he accepted? I, I've been out of the loop I, the last I, couple I days. Accept. Do you feel confident in your skills? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I do he feel confident. He drives a Tesla. Him. He doesn't need to have skills. He can be blind and park it. It's not true. It's very does untrue. Does the Tesla self park? No, it does The not. upgraded one does. Yeah, if you get like the uh, like the, uh, the the other package, the upgraded package, I think it does, but I don't have that. So I do What's all the vibe in there when he rolls through? Good. Is it contentious or is it? No, you know, no, we like him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, used, it's, yeah. Yeah, I like Paddle. I like him too. Yeah, I. There, well, that's he's, like, my, he's my favorite little basketball player. That's like classic internet where people actually thought I was mad. I was, it was, I was in on the joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, Pat. Yeah, I think. Spoiler alert: We all like Pat. Pat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little guy though. Yeah. <laughs> and I can say that as a little guy. Yeah. Um, what else was there, Stephen? I think I think I had something else for you, but. 
All right, when, when's your next mock draft? Because I actually read those pretty really. I, I'm going to need a seven rounder. For Probably you. Monday or Tuesday. I already have it in drafts, but I want to finalize a few things and talk to a few more people. Okay. Who would you have voted off if you would have voted? Me? Yeah. I, I think I'm going to come in last. But I, I love my board, but I think I'm going to come in last. I don't know. I think your top two are very <laughs> strong. <laughs> come in last by a wide margin. It depends on how yeah, you I think look, look at it. Definitely the loser here. But I think your dude, your first two are good. like you yeah. just fell off a cliff. But me, but I don't think oh, I, I. I love the chick. I, I love Josie. I like the cows and the brawny man. I wanted just because I love that as like the easiest like icebreaker Halloween costume ever. So it's just like that has a special I, place in my heart. I, like, listen, we're all dumb, but the fact that you guys can't disassociate like I had a good Halloween costume once. And like, no, hey, no, we're no, drafting no, no. best mascots. No, it's crazy. It, like, it's I like, like the commercial. Well, it's, it's like, not a commercial draft, Dave. Well, then, I mean, but like, I don't like to do just chalk things. So I think that gets boring. Yeah, I exactly. like it when like I, I that mascot comes to life and he's embodied through me. I think that that's nice. Right. That's yeah. why. That's why I went the route I did because I obviously had Tony the Tiger or whatever on my list, but that's too easy. Like, I don't want to go that route all the time. I think Chief, if Dave put Ken McGruff Jack first. You gotta send Ken Jack a picture of you on a Halloween wearing that. I know. So we, I, I think I drafted this or told that story another time, but I don't have Facebook anymore, so I like I can't pull up. Like I, I disabled the account like year, like in like twenty. It was during the Obama Romney stretch where I just like logged off forever. So I, I can't. I, I don't really know if it's still active, but I can't get back in. I can't find it. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have trouble too because I remember it was my uh, college password. It was my college like email, email, which yeah, has been defunct at. for fifteen Long. years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Stephen Shea. Thank you, man. It's always fun to talk to you. Appreciate you guys. Hope I see you soon. All right. Enjoy the act today, Stephen. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's it for today. We'll see you all tomorrow.